As an incoming freshman at IUPUI, I had no idea what kind of career impacting opportunities I would have. Since I was part of the Summer Bridge program, I had the opportunity to visit IREF before the school year even began. The first trip to IREF was extremely eye-opening. It was my first visit to an actual Department of Corrections facility, so as you can imagine, I was a little nervous. The first trip was just a tour of the facility and an introduction to the Toastmasters, which is what other students and I would be involved in once the first semester began. Before going to IREF, I never heard of the Toastmasters, although I learned it that it was a meeting that was held for a select number of residents. The goal for the residents was to make their public speaking better so that they could prepare themselves once they re-entered society. As felons, they are already at a disadvantage when it comes to getting a job once they are out of prison, so these gentlemen are taking steps to prepare themselves and better themselves in order to lead a better life. One of our obje objectives in getting the most out of this experience was being able to relate it not only to the COM R110 and V100, but also to J101. The thing that I found related most to J101 was the implicit biases I had towards the residents. At first, the way I looked at them was only criminals. I, di I really didn't even think of them as people. I viewed them as people who did something wrong and deserved to be locked away for a long time. Although along the way, some of my implicit biases changed. I looked at the residents of people who had made mistakes. Everyone in that room has made mistakes, which includes the students. I came to realize that the only difference between the residents and us was that they were caught. So in reality, we are no better than any of the men in that room. Thanks to J101, these ideas were in my head. If I were going to IREF and not taking J101, I never would have thought about my biases towards the residents changing. In getting to know these residents, I have been able to better myself. Going into the prison for the first time, I was very standoffish and defensive. I had a metaphorical wall between myself and the residents. I had this because I knew that these men had done something in their life to put themselves in this situation, so I wanted to keep my distance. Although after sitting next to and talking to some of the residents and Toastmasters, I have learned that for the most part, they are all nice men. They may have made mistakes in their lives, but they are trying to change now. Listening to some of them speak has really opened up my mind to what some of them are trying to accomplish. Many of the men are incredibly talented public speakers, and they have encouraged me in my public speaking. I never really thought I would be able to get up in front of a group of strangers and speak for five to seven minutes. After the first time I spoke at IREF, I immediately felt more comfortable. The residents gave me positive feedback, but it was also constructive criticism. It was very different hearing that from people who I had never met before. They told me that I was natural when it came to public speaking in front of crowds, and I had never heard someone say that to me before, so coming from complete strangers, it was very surprising yet uplifting. As for the residents, I have seen a change in them as well. At first, many of them were quiet, just as I was. They wouldn't say much, although after a couple of visits, in their speeches I could hear that we the students were making an impact on them. They would use the students as examples in their speeches. They showed us that we were making an impact on them each time we went into IREF. They would also say how much they looked forward to the students coming in and talking to them and listening and giving speeches. We were their exposure to the real world. Since IREF is a re-entry facility, we are just another building block to the residents at IREF. They are getting a feel for what it is going to be like coming back into the real world, and it is an honor to have had this experience with these residents.